trying to have another baby, you are strong enough to do it. Gripping Kleenex and fighting to hold back tears, it was an emotional afternoon for this small group of family members, many of them in tears listening to the stories of expecting mothers receiving tragic news. Their baby wasn't going to survive pregnancy. In 2010, we lost our first child and she was five months gestation. And then we went on to have three healthy little girls and we kind of thought that our problems were done. Lead organizer Selena Rowan knows what many of these mothers are going through, having been in their shoes twice before. In 2016, we actually lost another little girl again, so it kind of brought up all of those feelings that maybe Dawson Creek still needs to continue and have these community involvement times where we all get together and support one another. A small vigil took place where those in attendance passed candles throughout the gallery, each candle representing miscarriage, pregnancy loss and stillbirth. Just under 40 people showed up and parents brought their children and babies with them. Sadly, miscarriage is quite common in Canada. One in five expecting mothers will experience it during the first stages of pregnancy. Siobhan Hutchings lost her second child in a 2007 miscarriage and she says the pain was unimaginable. We had a son later in 2008 and I feel like that brought a lot of healing. Um, but you know, there's always kind of a part of you missing. There's always some kind of hurt. It doesn't follow me every day anymore, but days like today, you really notice. October is Infant Loss Awareness Month, and the memorial is held every October. We had to say hello and goodbye all at the same time. For those mothers who lost everything, and to give them a little bit of hope. The poster board you see here will tour Dawson Creek to show support to the families who have had to go through this unbearable pain, and it will show a sign of bonding and love from the community. Eric Tashner, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek.